Hey folks, my name is Kelsey Weekman and my mentee is Althea Collier. Every moment I've spent with her this semester has been colored with this creativity and charisma. She turns the mundane into something beautiful every time. She's reminded me, as a professional writer, that this craft we share is legitimately an art form, something wonderful that should be celebrated. I'm thrilled you get to hear from her now. This piece is called Spring Sunday, and it's a piece about a community garden in my neighborhood that was turned into an apartment building. It is Spring Sunday. I have pulled on my white dress and tied it with my favorite blue ribbon, tights and pinching shoes, but I cannot wait for later. Later, I go to the garden. At two o'clock, I run to find my dad. He grabs my hand and I skip along beside him. Corner, man, nod, gate, lock, key, grass, this is our garden. Tucked between two old buildings, my family and community have tended it since I was born, and I will tend it today. Thrilled eyes wide open, I toss my tights and shoes into the grass and run across the little lawn, under the arch of spindly vines. In the back, empty plots are waiting for the energy that spring brings. My brother, who is running behind us, has brought bags of mulch and manure. I roll up my sleeves in my Sunday white and dig my hands into the dirt. Turning, pulling, pushing, my little hands bring the old, hard earth to grow between my fingers. New sun beating on my back, I can feel the warmth of life come back to the dirt. In my white dress, I am rooted in the earth. Soon, corn, tomato, squash, basil, cucumber, and strawberry will find their place next to mine. It is summer Sunday, and I... Embe parts the thick, warm vines and hands me a prized, juicy, plump tomato. I hold it in my hands, loving, eager, under the shade of the six-foot-tall corn. Its juice runs down my chin, beautiful, tart, and sweet. We are all gathered here today. I cut my treat between my hands and peer out from the vines at the family and friends gathered on the grass. Barbecue and ice cream in their mouths, the garden in their hearts. The girls and boys whose smiles have brought me here, the hands of those who have lifted me up day after day, returning to my tomato, I smile. It is fall Sunday. I pull roots and pick squash for mom. The vine archway is turning rusty orange. The strawberries are gone. Dead tomato vines piled in my small arms. The garden goes back to sleep. My father stows away shovels and bags of dirt as I lay in the grass. Until next spring, I, I whisper. It is winter Sunday. It has snowed so much that my short legs are engulfed by a wave of pure sparkling white. Joy hidden under my scarf. I throw the first. My brother the second. Clyde the third. We fall and run and throw until our fingers are red and sore and our faces are wet and frozen. As my father locks the gate behind us, I remember spring is almost here. It is spring Sunday. Corner mad, not gate lock, key grass. This is not our garden. Tucked between two old buildings, our garden is gone. Sold years ago, nothing grows here anymore. Instead, there's a concrete tower, hard, cold. No more am I rooted in earth. Juicy tomatoes, vines, and grass. My garden is gone forever, living only in the whispers of old memories in my heart.